Hey everybody! <sighs> Gruzfaba. Parking here sucked. I'm at the Tucson Festival of Books and it took me over 20 minutes to park in that stupid parking structure. I know I'm being negative. It's gonna get better! Anyway, <sighs> one, two, three. I feel better. You feel better? You look good, Pickles. Let's do this. Let's go look at books. She likes getting pet everywhere, especially her lower back, right She's above her beautiful. tail, right there. Yeah. I think she's signing it to you, Pickles. So she only has three legs. It's hot out here. It is way too hot. We shouldn't have come. That's kind of why you're being an a hole, I think. You can go. Go. Okay. So, Karen hates it when I have a video in the car, but we've just been driving around this parking structure forever. So, here we go. Anyway, oh, it's dark. no one gave cookies. None of the authors said, hey, here's a cookie. Uh, the poison control booth was really good about warning us what was dangerous for pets. I'm not saying it wasn't a pet friendly event. It certainly was. And the spectators there were all, or the attendees were all coming up and asking me about my dog and is that a border collie? Those are the best. Which I said, yes. She totally agrees. Do you agree? See, she's hot. It was just hot. All right, I need to pay attention now <laughs> so I don't drive around this parking structure more than I have to. Parking sucked. So know that if you're using the Cherry parking lot and maybe another parking lot, it might take 15 to 20 minutes to get to an actual parking spot. Everybody. Okay, let's officially review this and close it for the day. Uh, okay, this review is basically two parts. The Tucson Festival of Books and the dog-friendly aspect of the Tucson Festival of Books. So, ah, this is one of my favorite parts. The Arizona State Parks Organization, all you have to do is give them your email address and you get a day use pass that expires December 31st of this year. Um, they specifically mentioned Boyce Thompson Arboretum, which is a dog friendly place that I've been wanting to take this girl. And you show up with a car full of four and they will let you all in for free. It's like a $50 savings. And that's just one park one day. So check it out. Um, I also loved seeing my friends there and I got my friend Fiona to sign this book that you wrote for me. Um, definitely go. The other best thing was the science exhibit area. Lots of hands-on stuff and the people manning the booths were so intelligent about their stuff and really, really friendly. Um, but the dog-friendly aspect of it, I would say definitely go to the Festival of Books but leave your dog at home. Pickles kind of enjoyed it, but I think I would have enjoyed it more if she hadn't been there. And she loved getting snuggled by the kids. That was great. She's up for that all the time. Bring it on. I'll snuggle kids all day, she says. And there were a lot of attendees to the event that were all over her. Oh, it was a supporter colleague. She's beautiful. I used to have one. So she definitely got a lot of attention, but it was very hot and... Even she was getting a little snarky with this one black and white dog. But she got lunged at a couple times by some other dogs, or they were giving her the stink eye. And we had water, but I don't know if everyone brought water for their dogs, but it was super duper hot. And also, I would have enjoyed it more. The science exhibit tent had, area had so many cool things that you could do hands-on, and you could really talk to the people at these booths. But if you have a dog, you really couldn't squeeze in through the crowd to talk to these people 
or if you did, her tail would get stepped on. I just would have en en enjoyed it more. If, oh, sorry about that exposure. I would have enjoyed it more if I had been with a human instead of pickles. Sorry, pickles. I love you, but you should stay home next year. Um, so yes, thumbs up to this event. Thumbs down if you're bringing your dog. God, I look how bright we are. Well, you're not bright. You're perfect. The light loves pickles. All right, that's everything. Yeah, I wish I hadn't taken her. Well, I don't regret taking her. I'm glad we went. Okay, seriously. We took water. If you're going to go, take water for your dog. But I seriously recommend leaving the dog at home. Definitely go, but go with humans. Bring the dog something back. They did have toys. Hey, smile for your fans, baby. Smile for your fans. What else? Kids snuggled her. Lots of attendees were... All over. What a beautiful dog. Is that a Border Collie? I had a Border Collie. They're so great. Yes, I agreed with all of that. You people are totally right. She is beautiful. And they are smart dogs. But she shouldn't be here. <laughs> we were only there half an hour. I'm glad we went. Because it is different. If I had gone there without her and saw those dogs, I probably would have thought, hmm, I should bring pickles next year. But it's different when you're with the dog and you see it. It's not really that great. She's totally happy that we're leaving. Anyway. That's our review. Thank you so much. Check it out tomorrow. Let me know what you think. Buy lots of books. Take money. There's tons of food there. There's local restaurants that have uh, food for you to eat as well as like normal fare from the fair. <laughs> All right. Bye.